Yo, what up, guys? We are live. So we have a value-packed stream for you today. This is going to be, we're going to be talking about photography, the power of good photos, and we're going to break down a really, really impressive case study of how you can radically, radically transform your Tinder profile. Now, there's a lot of people who are like, oh, I'm not getting any matches on Tinder, bro. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Well, chances are, if you're in that category, unless you're like a midget who's missing an arm, you just don't have really good photos. And this video, you're going to see really, or the stream, you're really going to see the power of a good photo shoot, like how much difference it can make. This is probably one of the biggest transformations in terms of before and after photos that I've seen. Uh, would, would you agree with that, David? Oh, yeah, absolutely. We, we posted this to the community post and people were like, dude, what the fuck? Like, I bet this or blah, blah, blah. So we got the guy on, the legend himself, Mr. Suhail. I think I mildly butchered. Do hell. You got it. <laughs> Do hell. Okay. Uh, joining us. So he's going to answer all your questions. We're going to break down his photos before and after. We're going to give some general photography tips in general uh, and show you guys how you can actually get good Tinder photos so you can start getting matches. Uh, again, uh, if you create a profile as a girl, uh, and you swipe through Tinder, you will see that most people, I would say 90% plus, have shitty fucking photos. I mean, anywhere, literally, this is, you can find this evidence anywhere. If you want to go on Reddit and go on Reddit Tinder photos, you'll see most people have shitty photos. Uh, if you create a profile as a girl and get one of the girls you're hooking up with, go through her Tinder. Most guys have shitty profiles. Even guys, when I do these streams like uh, rate my Tinder profile, whatever, guys come on, send me their photos. Most of their photos are not that good. So most guys really have no idea what they're doing when it comes to the photo uh, department. And hopefully we're going to fix that in this video. So if anyone wants to get more matches on Tinder, uh, even if you're not Chad or you're not even Chad light, you're just a normal looking guy. Uh, maybe you're Middle Eastern, maybe you're Asian, maybe you're Indian, right? Uh, there is a way to do it that we're going to show you in this video. So uh, let's start off with the before photos, David. Actually, wait, hang on. Before we do that, let's let Suhail introduce himself. Hey guys, my name is Suhail. Um, uh, I'm an actor and a rapper, singer. I also do, I'm a therapist and I'm involved in real estate a little bit. Um, like I said, I, I found uh, Alex and David actually, I think through Facebook. And I like, saw some of the, I saw some of the like, you know, testimonials and I was like, oh, I want to reach out. So I reached out and like, I got to say, like, I, I've like, the, the results are drastic, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. I can imagine. So, David, let's go up, go ahead and pull up the before photos. Okay, let's see here. Oh, also, if you guys are wondering what the fuck that uh, that API code in the top right is, that is for FireText. So if you want to get FireText for free, uh, literally scan this with your phone, and you will take you to download screen. Anyway, but we're not really going to be talking much about FireText on the stream. Okay, there you go. share the screen. Okay, let's right. go ahead. Let's go ahead and zoom in on some of these. Yep. So yeah, before photos. Yeah, let's just go first one, second one, yep. and then scroll down. Third one, fourth one, fifth one. Yeah, I mean, obviously this is really bad photos, but it's not. It's not abnormal. Like yeah, a lot of guys have photo profiles like this, so it's bad, but it's not abnormal since most guys have shitty photos. So what yeah. kind of results, uh, Su Suhil, were you getting with this profile? Like very like okay, I'm gonna be honest. I don't want to be rude, but like the girls that I was getting were not like ones that I was attracted to. Like I e like overweight girls, girls that were like didn't have any other like you know, like good attribute, attractive attributes for lack of a better you know term. So like not not like twos and threes. Right, and how often would you even get matches in general? Not very often. Like like I'd be on there for like a month, and like I would get like two or three. Yeah. If that. And this is this is this is what happens, guys. Basically, create uh, a, a, a shitty profile without knowing it, uh, and a lot of them get discouraged. They're like, oh, I guess this is what Tinder like if you're not a giga chat, and then they quit, right? But they never realized that if they had just fixed their photo, they would have had totally different experiences. Also, a lot of guys think that they have good photos when they don't. Uh, but let's now take a look at the after. That's a fucking radical radical difference uh let's david can we go through them one by one uh i just have this collage set up on here but i can get the individual photos while you're talking okay yeah sure let's go ahead and do that but yeah so you can, this is this is drastic we got one photo 
uh, just kind of him chilling, looking good. Another guitar photo. And then scroll down to the bottom. We got a motorcycle photo and a really good laptop photo, right? Where you're just sitting there chilling. Uh, this is good stuff. Uh, so what kind of results did you start getting with this, with these, with these photos? Oh, like, honestly, I would have like before it would me be, it would me, be me reaching out to women. But then I had like women like messaging me first, which I thought was like insane. Like I would have like them like messaging me and like, obviously like way better looking, you know, and more frequent, um, matches for sure. And the girls were hotter. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Oh. 100 percent. i was getting like at least sevens and eights if you had to put a number on it did this five extra matches or your total results 10x 20x like what would you say i would say at least 10x okay epic okay. this was one photo shoot right yeah exactly this is all and the perfect thing was like i want to like give props to david and like alex like they really are very efficient with your time so like i was only in miami for a little bit and i think we did it over like the, the course of like you know a couple hours so like they yeah. are very efficient and effective with their time too like it it takes almost no time whatsoever yeah i believe we had less than three hours to work with yeah and we some traffic getting here so you're a little bit behind as well and we had to go through the different venues the different outfit changes you know having a conversation with you getting you to relax a little bit just be you know calm and collected like you know getting you laughing making jokes and then uh, just snapping a photo of you while I'm guiding you. Hey, look to your right, look to your left, you know, move your hands like this. And then before you know it, we got you some like really natural looking poses. Maybe talk about in more detail what exactly you did during the photo shoot to get these kinds of photos. Yeah. So actually with the, the motorcycle shot, that was our first photo right there because we were strapped limited for time. We have to maximize every step of the way. So brought the bike out, brought my gear out got him on the bike. And then he's, you know, Sue Hall stated he'd never been on a bike before. I'm like, well, this is how you sit. You rest right here. And then I began asking questions, you know, like how I generally like to do my, my, my start the photo shoot off with is I like to start it off with taking my guys to like the bar and getting them a drink, having a conversation, you know, what do you like to do for fun? You know, what are your passions? You know, what are some of your um, celebrity crushes? Like for example, if Selena Gomez, if she were to call you right now and say, you know, hey, she's down for the threesome. How would you feel in that moment? And so I like to hit them with like these these questions out of the blue during the shoot. And it really just gets them out of their head, actually thinking about that matter and just like really conveying like, oh, wow, that, that was actually funny. Or I was expecting that. And before I know it, we're, we're having a good conversation. We're feeling like, you know, like we're longtime friends. And that's the angle that I worked with. So in the bike position one, I sat him on the bike. I'm like, all right, so. You're going to relax a little bit. You're going to sit back. You're just all you're going to do is I want you to look to your left, then look to your right. That's it. We practiced a few times. OK, great. Now I want you to move your arm while moving to the left, moving to the right. And we're just slowly taking steps. And as we're doing this, I am taking, you know, I'm just snapping photos, you know, a hundred shot at a time of, of, of photos and then hopping to different angles. OK, great. Now I want you to position your foot like this, but do the same thing. We just practiced. wash, rinse, repeat. And that's how we nailed the, uh, the motorcycle shot. Yeah, I think that I've talked about this in the past, like a good photographer is not just taking photos. He's also trying to help guide you to be in the right state, because what doesn't work is being like, OK, look like you're happy. OK, like what the fuck? How the fuck do I do that? So really, like a good photographer uh, will actually try to make you laugh, get you out of your head. Right. And basically naturally create the kind of emotions that you need to have the photo, right? Uh, and again, this is, it's, it's just, it's more than just clicking, clicking, clicking. It's, uh, th there's more to it than that. Um, is there any, is there any other things you would say that you did during the photo shoot? Um, well, in each specific one, I slightly did different angles. For example, right here with the laptop uh, shot right here is when I brought up out of nowhere, the comment of, you know, Hey, who's your celebrity crush? Great. If she called you, it was the threesome and stuff. And so that really got him going at that point in time with that, that genuine, just smile smirk right there because of like having your, your celebrity crush saying she's down for a threesome or whatever you're into, you know, it just really gets you. Yeah. yeah. And then same for the guitar, the guitar, I'm, I'm cracking jokes up, you know, like stroll that thing. Like, you know, your life depends on it and you got to, a thousand girls, you know, screaming at you and stuff, you know, just a variety of different things. And I just try different things in terms of humor, you know, what gets you going and get, you know, gauge myself off of your reaction. And then I just proceed with that, the flow of that. 
And basically, after the first shot or so, we were in flow state. We were having steady conversation. Sue and all, Sue all and I were getting along. He was explaining, you know, his passions and you know, producing music and stuff. And I'm like, all right, man, you're gonna be a natural with this music, uh, this guitar shot that we're about to do right here. It's not gonna be an issue whatsoever. And, and lo and behold, he actually looks like he would belong on an album cover. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, David, were you able to pull up the uh, full photos, or should I pull those up? Uh, yeah, you go ahead and pull those up. I couldn't get them all in the same shot. Okay, I got I got two of them. One second. Uh, okay, here they are. Okay. Uh, one second. I'm gonna share my screen. Uh, damn it. Okay. Present. Share screen. Uh, entire screen. Share. What's up? Okay. Can you see that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's one of the photos. Uh, I wanted to kind of do this so we can look at more details. Now, what makes this photo good? Well, number one, it looks natural, right? We, we had him take off the glasses. He's dressed really well, uh, and it looks natural. He just looks like a musician in this photo. It's like, it looks super chill. Uh, this is definitely a solid photo, right? Also, it you know, just with good angles and good lighting, you can make someone's face look a lot better. So that's the first one. And then we go to the uh, second one. Um, also, great fucking photo, right? You can totally see someone's, you know, like face, uh, you know, the face looks good. He's got a little bit of a smirk on his face. Talk about how you got this photo. Yeah, so as I was stating earlier with that one, we at this point, we're in flow state. We're bantering with some conversation over his music interests. And then I asked the question, you know, hey, who's your celebrity crush? And at that point, he was laughing and, and giggling along with, like, just the ridiculous things I was just throwing out of the blue and at the same time, I'm guiding him. Hey, man, look to your left. Great. Look to your right. All right. Selena Gomez did this to you. What do you think about that? <laughs> Perfect. Hold up that phone right there and say that, you know, just wash, rinse, repeat, trying different angles, trying different gestures, uh, the different angle, tilting up the head to the left, to the right here, position yourself upward. Good. Lean a little bit forward. Great. Now bring it back. Hold the phone up. Put the phone down. Take a drink at the coffee. Like we're, we're constantly moving. And that's what I found really works the best with helping you not, not come out looking pretty posed, which is very, very common. Did you learn that from me or from Justin? Uh, a mix of both. One, uh, being by your side for now three years and just picking up on your guidance to all these other guys in terms of when they're asking you to review their profile. In addition, training under Justin, he shared his insights of what he found works best. And I kind of just tailored the two um, the two experiences together and just formed my own little thing to where it just naturally flows and the guys just wanted to turn out pretty well. Pretty great, honestly. Yeah, for sure. So let's uh, turn the, I guess, the the convo over to Suhal. Uh, so what kind of results, like specifically, just expand a little more, what kind of results do you start getting after the photo shoot? Uh, how many of the girls, how many dates do you get? Like, just tell us a little bit about what happened. So before I would like, honestly, like I would get like one, um, one date, like maybe a month and it has nothing to do. Like, honestly, people would be like, Oh, I don't have time. I'm busy. I have like a full-time job. But uh, honestly, in my opinion, that's bullshit. Cause like, if you like it's like with exercising if you you have to actively make time for it so now i'm getting like at least two if not more dates a week mm. so like i'm it's like a drastic difference like you have to like invest in yourself honestly mm. yeah and you were yeah. able to hook up with some of these girls a couple of them yeah <laughs> nice uh, so here's the th when we did that community post um, a while back, it was uh, quite quite the stir. Here was the number one thing that people kept bringing up, and I want to just address it head on. Sure. Uh, they were saying like, "Oh yeah, the photos are really good, but when she meets up with him in real life, she's gonna be like, oh, you don't really play the guitar, or you don't have a motorcycle,' and she's gonna be like, blah blah blah.' Has that ever happened to you once? So when it it happened to me like a couple times, but like like. So this is where I want to I give big props to David because this is what came up with me too. I was like, hey, I have these like, you know, whatever you want to call them, like insecurities or whatever. What am I going to say? And he's like, just be honest. And he was like, hey, I borrowed my friend's motorcycle. Like I borrowed my friend's guitar and he let me use it. And like I never like I can tell you like outright a girl did not ever walk out on me because of that. Like, I mean, they're already so invested as it is. Does that make sense? It like, does. I mean, yeah. So it was right? never it was never a real issue. It was never something that no. caused me. And right. if you're honest and upfront about it, then yeah, it's not, it's like owning it. You have to be confident in yourself and be like, Hey, yeah, I did that. So what, like, what are you going to do about it? Right. 
Yeah, hundred percent. This is this is like a weird paranoia guy sad. It's like, oh my god, there's a guitar photo, and I don't really play the guitar. She's gonna yeah. ask me to play her twenty songs, and if I can't do them, oh my god, motorcycles. So she's gonna make me do wheelies. It's like, guys, <laughs> it's not how dating works. Girls yeah, right. don't give a shit. Okay, uh, they see good photos, they swipe right. Uh, you text them, they go on a date with you, unless you're like blatantly lying to them, and you're like in your bio, like, hey, I'm gonna take you on a ride on my motorcycle. And then you're like, oh, I don't own a motorcycle. Even that you can pull off. But if you just have some photos of you doing activities, that's totally normal. I've also never had an issue. I have a guitar photo on my Instagram, right? I met up with a few girls from Instagram. A uh, girl be like, so you play the guitar? I'd be like, not really. It was my friend's guitar. I was fucking around. No issue. Uh, yeah. Motorcycle photo. You think I know how to ride a fucking motorcycle? Those fucking things are dangerous. Okay. <laughs> never, never ridden a motorcycle. I have a motorcycle photo on my Instagram. I have one on my Tinder. Uh, you know, some girls are like, oh, so you like to ride a bike? I'm like, not really. I can drive a Mazda CX-5. Uh, never an issue, right? Again, the only way it can be an issue is that if you freeze and you make it an issue. Oh, uh, well, it, it was just, you know, the, the playing with fire guys told me it was a good idea. I'm really sorry. Then it becomes an issue. As long as you own it, it will not be an issue. And it sounds like for you, Sohail, it was never really a serious issue. Uh, there was maybe a few questions, but you just own, you know, the reality. And it seems like you're saying nothing bad came of it. No, not at all. Yeah. So yeah. that's... Yeah, so it's actually a common thing with guys that I work with because when I when you work with me, I have activity photos planned out for us, and not everyone has done photography, guitar, cooking. Uh, not everyone has a dog. Some guys are cat guys, you know. And it's like, you know, what will she think if she sees me with some other dog? And I'm like, well, first and foremost, own it. You know what you did, why'd you do it, etc. Secondly, I like to lead in in things with humor. Yeah, I borrow my friend's awesome ass husky, you know, just so I can get the match with you. And clearly, it's working right, you know. And I just, you know, play into it that way. I've never once had an issue. And I've actually had guys, you know, I, I follow up with you, you know, state like, oh, yeah, she said something about the dog. And I just said what you said. And she thought it was so funny. And then the day continued on and stuff. And I want to say something really quick. These guys will take like this is just from me as a testimonial. I've been to like other dating gurus and like the, the Alex and David by far like they care. Like, let me give you an example. I was getting late to my flight. And I was like, oh, I got to take my Uber. We have to cut this short or whatever. And David, like, I, like, he didn't have to do this. He's like, let me get you a ride. And I'm like, are you sure, bro? Like, he he's a busy man. He could do whatever the hell he wanted. But he went out of his way to, like, give me a ride. And, like, there was, like, I was missing some clothes, I think. And he let me borrow some of the clothes that they had there. Which is, like, basically what I'm trying to say is, like, they, they like, walk the walk and talk. They don't just talk the talk. They, like, care about you. And they, like, will, like, they want you to succeed is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh. It's so important that I not just making a sale, but like, I want you to be successful. I want you to get results. I've been there where I myself struggled with really dog shit photos. Couldn't even get a single match when I did this from a fat chick I wasn't even attracted to. And she wouldn't even respond to my comments. It's like, how can I learn text game if I can't get a response? So I've right. been there. And not only that, I've worked with countless guys who fly to me and they forgot something or something of that nature. And I'm like, what size do you wear? Okay, we need exactly. these shoes. I got these pants. I got this jacket. Here's a duffel bag to carry your stuff in. Let's get moving. And, you know, everything in between. Yeah, yeah. We, we should actually afterwards look at your before photos, Davey. Oh, yeah, I have them. <laughs> I have them. So what, what are, what, like, have you done a photo shoot before in the past with any other company? I did do one photo shoot, but like this one was way better because like, okay, no, no offense to the other guy, but he was an older gentleman, which is fine. But I feel like you guys had a better sense of like style and like what's like, quote unquote, like what's in or trend, whatever you want to call it trendy. Like, like David took me to the spot that I would have never known, like in that mall, remember? And like, I was, it was like a really like, you know, a popping off spot. And I like would have not, not known that. And just like the clothing and like the, like, you know. Uh, a shitty photographer would be like oh say cheese but like like david said like he will like be talking to you and like give you scenarios and stuff that'll like and he like kind of breaks it down so you don't feel like so like self-conscious if that makes sense like you feel like like hey this dude's my friend and he really like has my back if that makes sense yeah i've been talking about this for a while the vast majority of professional photographers suck when it comes to taking photos for dating apps they can take good photos for linkedin uh and like headshots but when it comes to dating apps a small percentage of uh, photographers don't do because they're so used to taking like very post shots they're they're and they also don't really understand the psychological side of something looking natural and authentic uh so it's like i can tell you like okay smile look like you're happy how the fuck do you do that it's not gonna come off natural it's like right like yeah that's weird so uh, really like like i understand that if i want that reaction i have to make you laugh 
have right. to change our state. And then the photo will look good. But like a lot of professional photographers, like this is just they're just used to taking like post photo, post photo, and then those photos don't really do well, right? I mean, they might do better than the previous, but uh, yeah, I mean, look, Davey's not the only guy on the planet that can take good Tinder photos. There's other ones, right? Uh, but there, there are few and far in between. I mean, I'm not going to say I have world class photos, but they're much better than before. It hasn't proven problem matches for uh, for sure. Line dating is all that marking. Yeah, sure enough. Uh, here's an interesting one. Really bad to do photo stuff you don't actually do, in my opinion. Check the rides or is into music. You want to see this catfish negative. Mm. This is just a. This is just an idea, guys. Have that's not really based in reality. I have again, like if you look at my profile, like my Tinder profile, I have a photo of me on a motorcycle. Uh, never once been an issue. That's you know, like like none of this stuff actually happens. It's just not. It's just it just girls are not. Attraction isn't logical. A girl is not going to a date and being like, okay, let me check off this list. It's emotions, how you make her feel, right? The rest doesn't really matter. Uh, you know, there's countless guys now who are using photos of Rhaegar. I mean, like, how many at this point, Davey? Like, 100 maybe? Yeah, yeah. I've worked with probably close to 100 guys, if not over. Yeah, they all have photos of Rhaegar. You know how many of them have had problems because they don't actually own Rhaegar? As far as I know, zero. Yeah, can I – I want to address this really too quick, Alex, even mm -hmm. though we already talked about it. But, like, honestly, I feel like I, – I felt this – because I asked the exact same questions to David. David can – David can tell you that I had the same, like, concerns. But I can tell you that it came up maybe once or twice. And, like, I said, that's not really catfishing. Catfishing is when you say you're, like – when you – we say you're fucking, like, I'm a 20-year-old, you know, guy with a six-pack. And you're clearly, like, a 200-pound, 40-year-old. You know, that's catfishing. Yeah, I mean, look, it's it's not, you know, it's this kind of like, it's it's not purely black and white. Like, what, like if a chick shows up and she's 20 pounds heavier than her photos, did she catfish you? Eh, potentially. What if she's 15 pounds or 10? So it's a little bit of a sliding scale. Right. But at the end of the day, what, what the thing what we have to look at, not so much whether it technically meets the definition of catfishing, is it something that's going to piss girls off? Is it something that's going to lose you dates? So you're five foot six and you say you're six foot. In your bio, that will piss girls off. That will lose your dates. That will cause girls to walk out on you. Uh, not all of them, but a good amount of them. You're five, ten and a half, and you say you're six feet. That's not going to cause girls to walk out. You know how I know that? Because I'm five, ten and a half, and I say six feet on my Tinder profile. Never once had that be an issue. Uh, so if you have, uh, for example, you know, if you like have a photo where you're like looking, I don't know, just a photo of someone else right? That looks similar to you. And then you look nothing like that. Yeah, that will be an issue with a good amount of the girls. But if you're taking a really, really good photo with yourself, even if you're including face up in there, the vast majority of time, it's not going to be an issue. And this is the thing. Girls do that all the time. If you're they do. They do you're all dumb. The time. If you, dude, every like, if you don't know this, you're dumb. Like songs use auto tune on purpose. Like Photoshop is a thing for models. Like there's lightning. There's like, oh. so if you think that girls don't do that, you are like in a, under a rock, bro. Yeah, yeah, and you, and you can you can you can morally grandstand all you want, and all that means is that other guys are gonna fuck the girls that you want. Like that's really all that's <laughs> gonna do. It's like, it's like girls are doing it. Uh, some of the smart guys are doing it, but girls, <laughs> you think girls have didn't know don't know about lighting and angles? Girls have known about this for decades. It's just something that only guys right. do too. Girls know lighting. Girls know angles. Girls know Photoshop. Girls know face app, and they're all doing it right. And it just it, it is what it is. Like yeah, at the end of the day. Uh, there's, yeah. a re there's a reason why makeup exists, bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and uh, another common thing I see is, isn't this too try hard for guys? And I've also been asked this, and, and, and you know, especially when I provide activity photos, it just seems a little try hard. Really, no. What you're doing is you are investing in yourself, okay? And I'm not sure if you ever looked at a girl's phone, but majority of the time, actually all of them do this, they will take a shit ton of photos and just spend like an hour going through a hundred of the same pose photo and find the right one to put on their Instagram and such. And it's just a matter of you're taking the time and effort to showcase yourself in the highest form of value in terms of how well you look, how good your fashion is. Is your clothes form fitting? Do you have good angles? How's the lighting? Like you're taking time for yourself to invest in this because the, the harsh reality is guys, we're at an extreme disadvantage in the online dating world. Girls yeah, just very, very competitive dating ridiculous one. photos. We've done an experiment with a really overweight girl, and she just blows it out of the water against a Giga Chad that you would think is a 10 out of 10, no homo, of course. And that's just the reality of it. Like they can just just matches for days. So it is not by any means try hard. It's it, even more so, I guess it could be on the negative side if your stuff comes out posed. But if you've got really good, solid photos, and again, 
a good photo used for your online dating as well is great for using on your Instagram. And I've had guys fly to me who have businesses and they're like, I need also good shots for my business and for my, my LinkedIn profile and to go on my business card. And I'm like, yeah, dude, absolutely. I got you on that. I can include that in the photo shoot. And or a lot of these photos you can use for your, your, your Instagram because most guys, Instagram is just awful. And everybody wants good Instagram yeah. you know, photos because that helps you in the market. Pretty much every photo that's good for a dating app is good for Instagram, but not every photo that's good for Instagram is good for dating apps, essentially. But if you have a good photo for Tinder, 99% chance can be good for Instagram. Also, I'm just going to make a quick Game of Thrones analogy for anyone, for the 1% of people who watch Game of Thrones. <laughs> so in the Game of Thrones, you know, everyone knows Ned Stark, Edward Stark. He's like the honorable man. He comes to the South and he tries to play the Game of Thrones. And what happens to him? He gets fucking beheaded, right? You look at someone like Tyrion, who's a much more effective player. He has a conscience, right? He, but he also plays the game, and you have to play the game. Uh, and if you're not willing to play the game, that's fine. I mean, you're not going to get beheaded. You're just going to be left at home jerking off on a Friday night. Uh, <laughs> uh, when will these ladies, men, get married and have some kids? Like, at what point does their advice lead to a win? And they get, well, for me, a win is not having kids i've had a girlfriend for uh three years davy you've had a girlfriend for how long uh we're coming up on a year now yeah david's had a girlfriend uh both of us met our girlfriends on dating apps right you met yours on yep. which app i met mine on uh tinder i met mine on bumble so i i guess it that would be a win but i don't really look at it like that like i don't have any intention to have kids at this point what what about what about you suhail do you have do you want to have kids or where you at i'd eventually want to have kids but i'm at the point right now where like um where like i eventually do want to like i don't want to be childless but i think at the moment right now i'm like good at kind of like i don't want to say playing the field but just kind of seeing what's out there like it's an experience i guess you could call it yeah um thoughts yeah. on these breaks I mean, look, I did a whole experiment on this. Uh, some people love them. Uh, for me, personally, it wasn't worth the headache because uh, I already have solid photos. Uh, yeah, I mean, look, if you want to try it, try it. It's not something I actively endorse or recommend, but, you know, it's, there's no shame in doing it. Hey, listen, people want to do it, they can do it. Uh, Rhaegar should be cho chosen dog of the year, 100% agree. Yeah. Oh, this is a good question. Yeah. My question is – would would be what does david use a stylist or does he advise styling for guys yeah actually so i have a stylist that i've trained up myself and even alex has provided feedback to her and i even got her to work with uh justin stylist she trained her as well and we really dialed it in she Ari is her name and she is part of my deal with the photo shoot so suho actually used ari and from his experience it turned out pretty well actually would you say so Suho? what was your experience working with ari yeah, yeah, I want to bring that up too. So like she like she, like the whole team is like like Alex, David and Ari are very like invested in stuff. Like she was like tell, like sending me like investing so much time like sending me pictures of stuff and took the time out of her like you know busy day to be like, "Okay, let me see you in your outfits. Don't just show me like I want you to wear them in front of me." And like I would go to Hollister and like she would be all be always be available and I'd FaceTime her like, "Hey, how does this look on me?" She's like, "No, try this. Yeah, that looks better." So like basically, yeah, when you you're getting so much more than a photographer like honestly you're getting david which is like you can go to any honestly you can go to any photographer and they'll give you dating photos because like people are there to make money but the thing is like they care about you and you get like you get to um have access to like ari's expertise but not only that you alex looks at your photos too and he's like okay this one's good and alex is like you know the one who has the experience so he knows what like you know what's gonna work and not work so it's like you're not just getting for there's there's so much more to it than just photos is what i'm trying to say and you also get you also get Rhaegar. You get Rhaegar. You can't yeah, forget about exactly. Rhaegar. They sent me. Yeah. They you guys sent me a bonus photo, and it was so cute. I think it was like Rhaegar in like a hat or something. Yeah, and I didn't yeah, even yeah. ask for it. I didn't even mm. ask for it, and they just threw that in there. I'm like hell yeah, and I used it, and it's yeah, it's like I yeah. get comments on it, like oh he's so cute, and like yeah, exactly. Yeah. So after working with a lot of guys, and I would say not really recently, but you know, past the halfway point of working with guys, I incorporated the stylus into this because I have decent sense of fashion for myself, but every guy is different. We're, we have different lengths and torso heights, you know, width, weight, you name it, skin color, like what shirt looks good on me may not look the same for Sue Hall because it complements our skin, to skin tone and our body physique. So at the end of the day, I can take the absolute best photos of you and I can get the best angles, the best lighting and all that. But if your fashion looks like you're going you're going to high school and you're in your 30s, like there's only so much I can do. So therefore, I've taken it upon myself to incorporate a stylist. Now it's included in my package 
when you work with me, it's mandatory. You'll do a consultation with the stylist and she goes above and beyond for you. And even so creates a vision board. So you have a photo layout of models wearing similar outfits to what you're going to be wearing. So all we have to do is have the photo point out, okay, I want you to wear this outfit and this outfit. It's literally all done for you. All you have to do is dress up and show up. And honestly, like I'm, I'm, I act and I do rapping and singing, but like, I've never uh, done modeling, but honestly, like, I feel like I felt like a, like, I'm not trying to like, like you know trying to stunt or anything but like i felt like a model like he was telling me like oh walk like this you know like and like shit i didn't know like i wouldn't have known any of that like how the lighting and all that like i don't know anything about photography like the background mm -hmm. where to be at like the posing you know the lighting like oh this side of your face versus this like i don't know any of that mm -hmm. shit so like yeah. I really the average heard. person doesn't yeah it took yeah. me a while to learn all this shit man i mean dude <laughs> i've yeah, I mean, like, you know, when I first started, like, 2017, essentially what I was doing, the vast majority of it was just, re like, going through people's Tinder profiles, making suggestions. And, like, I learned so much in the last, like, five years doing that over and over again. Uh, and what would happen is, like, initially when I started, I would say this, if I'm just being honest, um, 60 to 70% of my clients would get good results. But there was about 30 to maybe even 35% that didn't really get more matches. And I was confused by that and I wanted to fix that. So what I would do is I would screenshot, uh, you know, their, the photos that I picked for them and send it to like every girl I knew and get feedback. And like doing that, I started seeing a lot of patterns and I'm like, okay. And then I was able to take that success rate from 65, 75, 85. I would say right now it's like probably around 95%. I can get pretty much every person uh, better results with maybe rare exceptions um if they were willing to follow my device so yeah you just get better with time and time and so real quick to piggyback off of uh sue hall's recent statement a very important factor i've learned and I've, I've gathered this from a variety of places and is that mindset is very very important for your photo shoot okay so when i had sue hall you know we did a walking shot for example and when we would do our variety of posing and stuff i would express you know mindsets right like you're a confident, assertive man. You sign million dollar checks. You close clients on the regular. Jeff Bezos is your neighbor, bro. This is who you <laughs> are right now in this moment. Okay. Because your internal world determines your external world. Women can pick up on that shit. Okay. If you're really, really shook into your core, it doesn't matter how big you smile. They're going to be like, you know, something's off with this guy or something's up with this photo. They are very, very inact on picking up on that stuff. Yeah. And a good photographer should be able to bring that side out. That's really what, like, I think a lot of professional photographers where they fall short is they think their job is just taking the photos, but it's not, that's part of their job. It's a good, it's important part of their job. But the other part of their job is getting their client in the right state to have good outcomes. Uh, what's David's site? I just put it up on the screen. So unlimited matches, photography.com. What about someone who's in Texas? I mean, yeah, you're more than welcome yeah. to pull it out. Uh, I actually had a client come from Dallas, Texas. I've had clients from California. I've had a client from Colorado and I've had a client come here from Canada and even New York, all parts of the country have come flown here and are currently in talks with a client who's looking to fly here from Germany. And I would like, I, if I could say something like I'm from Indiana where there's, there's not, I mean, there's photographers and stuff, but there's not shit here. Like, so when you fly over there, you not only get like, Alex's feedback you get to like you get the motorcycle you get Rhaegar so it's like honestly mm -hmm. you you have all the you get like I wouldn't have been able to be at that mall in Miami if I hadn't flown there so like you get so much more than you know just like you know if you don't fly there is what I'm trying to say yeah, so, yeah. you get a 30 minute lecture from me on Game of Thrones uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah question who would you recommend for feedback on my game photos I mean look uh it's going to sound self-serving, but I recommend like someone like myself or David, like, cause we know what we're looking for, but like, if you're talking like for free, uh, well, actually I do free streams sometimes or break it down, but, um, I would recommend like, like a bunch of hot girls that, you know, just, but you got to ask the question the right way. Don't be like, Hey, is this photo good? Send her like five photos and be like, Hey, which photo is the best? So, uh, if you ask the question the right way, you can use girls, um, that, you know, um, uh, but yeah. Uh, okay. You should give more credit to the black bill. This channel puts too much on the individual and doesn't mention society and the brutality. Yeah. Let's, uh, okay. Let's, 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 that's the solution is let's, let's, instead of talking about things we can improve on, let's just complain about how bad the modern dating marketplace is. It's so brutal. It's so against chats. Look, I'm making mock of it. Uh, but I think rightfully so. Yes, there are challenges in the modern dating marketplace. 
but there's also plenty of guys who are doing well. What separates those guys from the guys who are complaining and whining is those guys take action and take the right kind of action, right? Sometimes you take the wrong action that doesn't really help you, even moves you backwards. But if you take the right kind of action, essentially following the stuff I teach you guys on this channel, I would, you know, stake my life on the fact that the vast, vast majority of the stuff that I tell you guys is accurate information. How do I know mm -hmm. that? Because I tested it myself. And also I've had a bunch of other people test it. And then when I look at emails, I look at feedback, and I'm like, oh, this guy said it didn't work for him. Okay, let me evaluate this and see what went wrong in the chain. Um, so yeah, so I mean, like, like, sure, there's issues in the modern dating marketplace. There was issue 30 years ago. But there are guys, average guys, who are doing quite well and you can too. So I just don't see the point of complaining, whining, talk, like doing the victim thing. It's like, oh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You'll, never, you'll never see me do that on this channel because and it's, it's yeah. awesome. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I was going to yeah, say, like, this goes right back. This is like a vicious cycle. Go back to what David said. It's all about your mindset. If your mindset is telling you society sucks, it's hard for men, you know, mm -hmm. oh, everything is stacked against me, then, like, you are going to manifest that in your life. Like, you know, obviously everybody goes through like, you know, setbacks and shit. Like, yeah, I'm not saying like it's perfect. But like, if you think that, then you're stupid if you don't think that's going to like affect you. Like your thoughts affect your behavior, which in turn affects your reality and your future. So like, it's yeah. Also, allow me to, to hop, piggyback on this as well. So, yes, a lot of things in society suck. Yes, a lot of things are just not in the favor of men these days. Women are put on pedestals. OK, that's just the reality of it. You can't change the culture. You can't change other people. But what you can do is change your world, your reality view of things. And if you may, I would like to share an example of when I moved down here and after living with you for about a year, how I transformed myself. And yeah. so this is kind of putting myself on blast, but it, it's entirely fine because I'm all about, you know, motivating, encouraging people like, hey, there's uh, more to life than, you know, just crying and dwelling on, you know, your woes. So this is an actual photo of me, a nine month different transformation before when I moved down here with Alex and then after living with Alex close to a year with this, I got my diet in line. I began to work out regularly. I worked on, you know, proper taking supplements. Uh, Alex introduced me a guy on doing blood work, you know, seeing what my hormone levels are at, cleaning up my diet, you know, really, really focusing on myself, eating healthy, drinking more water. And I was able to drastically transform myself and get down pretty, pretty lean after just busting my ass. And eventually, you know, I was able to transform myself. So I could have been the guy on the left, which I was this guy, like, I can't get the time of day from a girl. No girl will give me the attention. The ones that do are not attractive. And I was in a very terrible mindset and state of, you know, state of mind, like all, all around. But I was like, you know what? Fuck that. I, I want more out of life. I, I deserve a, a good health relationship of what I want. And to get what to get that higher level, you have to, you know, you have to level up yourself. You have to, you know, improve on yourself, not just with photos or fashion, but in your internally. Right. So. This was like a lot of work to get to this right here, believe it or not. And that's just, yeah. yeah. The question you have to ask yourself is, what do you want more? Uh, do you want more to get laid or meet a hot girlfriend or actually like transform your dating life and be someone who has a dating life that you've dreamed about? Or do you want to just complain and be right about, you know, things that you believe in and seek reinforcement of beliefs that you already hold? What's more important to you? If it's complaining and being right, again, I'm using the right in quotes because it's only right in your mind, then yeah, like, <laughs> you know, but like for me, and I think David and Suhail, it was always much more important. Like, yeah, work is unpleasant and, it, you know, has its setbacks, but it's always been like, I'd rather get laid. I'd rather meet a girlfriend. I'd rather have a good dating life with business. It's like, yeah, I can complain about how fucking hard it is to like start a pickup company with the fucking all these payment processors just dropping on me last minute and like fucking Tinder fucking threatening to sue me, like all, all true things. I can complain about that, but I think I'd rather have a successful business. So I think I'm just going to work harder. And I think yeah. that's really what separates people. Uh, it's kind of like a growth mindset versus a fixed mindset type of yeah. thing. And I go on uh, and on and on about that. Um, okay, a few more interesting questions. So... Uh, wait, actually, I think I'm skipping one. Okay. How many uh, matches does Suhail get a day? Like five, at least. Five to ten. 
is it when fall? I was getting like when I was getting like I was getting like one to two a month, and I'm I was on it. It's not like I was like not using it. I was like using it like every day. So this is not like I was ignoring it or anything. Alex, what do you think is the race with the least amount of likes? I'll answer this question. I'm not like the biggest fan of questions like that because I just don't see how it helps anybody. Um, if I had to guess, it would probably be Indian guys, I would assume. Uh, but again, there's plenty of Indian guys. Like, Suhail, what's your ethnic background? I'm Indian. I am Indian. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so <laughs> he, he's he's not he's now an outlier. Okay, he's not like the I've met countless Indian guys who do quite well with girls on dating apps, right? Uh, yeah, just multiple multiple people. So he's not like some crazy outlier. Uh, they do exist, right? So, but on average, it'll probably be Indian, maybe Asian, being second place. I don't know. I mean, I just I don't think you should focus on your race as an excuse of any kind for your mm -hmm. results or lack of. Uh, and PE does pretty well for himself, right? And he's Indian. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, why does this guy live with you, Alex? Uh, well, because I live in a two-bedroom apartment, and I need a roommate, and Davey is a good friend of mine. We've known each other for a while. We work well together. He helps me with some of my stuff. He, I help him with his stuff. So, yeah, we have a really good friendship, so that's why. Uh, I'm drunk and ugly and still get that sex. Okay, cool. Congrats. Is anyone else getting aware an error when they were visiting the website? Uh oh, unlimited mattress photography.com. Did I spell that correctly? Uh, yep. let's see, unlimited. Yeah, I mean, that's it for me. It works fine. So, for yeah. me, it works fine too. It's yeah. also that's also my Instagram handle as well. You can go there, the website's linked under my account. Um, you can shoot me DMs. Uh, some guys, if you want to give me send photos, I can give you a little bit of feedback, just be reasonable about it. You know, yeah, uh, yeah, it works fine for me. So, let me know if you're still having an issue. Uh, did David go to college photography? Who trained him? Uh, it, was a, it was me and Justin. And yeah, so I, I didn't go to college for photography by any means. Um, I actually have a background in car culture. I used to work and build race cars, and I would go to car meets. I would do photos and videos of car shows and cars, and it landed to me landing sponsorships for my cars that I worked and built on. And so I just kind of adopted that, you know, having a good eye and angle for things. And then, of course, meeting Alex, wanting to improve myself. I learned a lot from Alex and being with Alex for so long and helping other guys out on top of also getting the opportunity to meet and be mentored by Justin as well. So I've been able to have two really solid mentors help me really dial in, having that really good eye for a good natural photo of guys. Honestly, photography college is close to useless for this type of thing. Same as like <laughs> going to college for marketing. Like just start you know, start building shit. Like buy yeah, a I, camera I, working with. Like I, I was started a, out with a hundred dollar camera. Now I'm using a thousand dollar camera. But I I it was increments from a hundred dollar really bottom of the barrel camera to a two hundred dollar camera to a four hundred dollar camera to now I'm at a thousand dollar camera and then I utilize different lenses and I was starting out with a kit lens. If anybody knows kit lenses are the worst of lenses, but they just come with the camera. And now I have directly specific, you know, F1.4, F1.8, 50 millimeter, you know, for whatever scenario lighting effect I need I, that I shoot with. So yeah, just, you got to start somewhere and then work on building yourself up from there, what, whatever it is. And also I have a background in software engineering. I didn't go to school for it, but I was a software, I, I was a software engineer until I became senior level for six years. I was a software engineer and I taught myself all from YouTube, finding courses online, building shit, made my own portfolio, applied for jobs, got the job, and been, and I did that for quite a while too. You're thinking of the homeless guy, Lorenzo. He's, we actually, he, he's been gone since Monday. Uh, that's yeah. a whole story in of itself, so he's no longer living with me. But uh, yeah, no, not David, that, that was Lorenzo. No, no, yeah, my girlfriend's really amazing. Uh, would it work for guys who got rated a four by Wee Waffles? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who gives a shit what we want? Yeah, yeah. That's just the guy's opinion. Remember, you're, if you're attracted to women, that is, you want the the opinion and value of a girl's input is more important than that of another man's, just to be honest. Uh, thank you for all of you. Can you shoot the video on how to take photos outside, how to do poses outside, actual live shoot, choosing good lighting and extra? Um, I, I have, well, it's, it's like, okay, I have a photo, I have a video on how to do a photo shoot inside. Actually, David, you're in that one too. Um, yep. I was how the take photos that. outside, how do poses outside? Well, like for, I don't really believe in poses. I believe in like just you're at, like moving, flowing, and then the guy's taking a lot of photos. Uh, but you got to get in like a good state, you know, we're just like yeah. flowing. Um, how do, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe I will. Um, so, 
I yeah. actually had paid um, a paid assistant to help me during a, a previous photo shoot with a client and basically had a GoPro um, the whole way mic'd up. And I am going to be uploading videos, starting a channel to where I basically A to Z from the very beginning, I meet with a client and walk through all the shoots, what I have them do and everything in between. So you can get an idea of what a photo shoot is like with me and or if you want to implement yourself. That's a really good idea. Yeah, you should cover that topic. I'm um, editing it right now as we speak. <laughs> yeah, would, it, okay. would it be bad to have photos that show your business side and artsy side suits? And yeah, I think that's totally fine. Yeah, that's fine. As long as it's a good photo. Uh, yeah, you want to demonstrate a, a form of value in terms of like, hey, look, I can, I, I can, I have a humor sense of humor side, but I have a serious, you know, go getter hustler side. So like, just a variety of that. That's pretty good. Will girls go crazy if your dating profile has you wearing four different pairs of shoots? No, I don't think they no. Will. No, we typically use like a white pair for most of the photos and then a black pair. Like we, we do use some different, but it really isn't that big a deal. Alex, what's your opinion on looks masking so you get better results to like like fixing teeth or balding? Um, yeah. I, th I think soft looks maxing is good. You should do it, uh, but don't become obsessed with it. There's more to getting results on than just looks maxing. But yeah, go to the gym, get in good shape, get good fashion, get a good haircut, uh, you know, trim your beard so it looks well. Yeah, yeah, so in the photo I just shared of myself when I was very overweight, I didn't have any facial hair. I was big on like fully shaving everything and just like doing a number two cut. That's it. Now, of course, living here with Alex and in Miami, I slowly integrated having facial hair. I go to the barber, I get lined up, so I have facial hair. And then I also, I'll get a fade, which I'm due for a haircut now, but I'll get a fade and, and a blend in at the top, you know, so I actually put a little effort in it. I don't go crazy with it. But I just slowly integrated more and more subtle changes to myself, which overall increased the value of my attractiveness, which success made me very successful with online. Yeah. And I think, David, you told me you do meal plans, too. Right. So that's also mm -hmm. something. To do. Yeah. Yeah. So on the side, I help guys. I write you your workout routine and I, I email them to you. And then I can also do, you know, diet nutritional plans. You know, I ask you what foods you like to eat, what foods you can eat, what you're allergic to. And then I can give you like a diet nutritional thing. If you need a cut, need a bulk, or if you need to just maintain your calories. If it's easy, then why so many advices? Because the vast majority of people are dipshits who have no idea what they're talking about. Well, uh, it depends on what you're saying is easy too. Like, is it easy to take dating photos? Honestly, I mean, most people yeah. mess up. Like yeah, really, yeah. it's not yeah. easy. It's not just taking a camera. I'm going to snap a bunch of shots of you no. walk around. Like, no, you got to like, it's a lot more to it than that. Alex, would you recommend so high to get a lo longer necklace or shorter? Well, if he was asking me for advice on his necklace, I would just out of the blue be like, hey, you got to do this. Uh, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not the biggest fan for or like, like jewelry for men, but I think it's fine. Yeah, maybe a little shorter. I guess if I was like cherry picking uh, or just kind of put it under the shirt. But I mean, yeah, who gives a shit? I don't think it's going to play a big role either way. Um, yo, Davey, let's take a look at your uh, before photos. My personal for before or the clients? Okay. Yours. Yeah, I got them pulled up. Okay. So this is um, – this is a photo I was using before I came to Miami, before I met Alex, probably before I even bought the product back in 2019 is when I bought his product and joined the mastermind. So it, it's a, uh, I found it, I had to screenshot it cause I, I can't really find the original photo, but this is on my website right now too. I'm, I'm used myself as a, as an example of a bad piss poor photo. So I come from a third tier city too, mind you. I was never, I, I'm not born and raised in the first tier. I'm from Tennessee, but it's a third tier city that I, I, I'm from. So even with this, I could not get for the life of me, maybe one match a week from very, very unattractive women. And so I have a photo. I had a friend come over. I'm like, hey, snap some photos of me. He was a photographer too, but he's never done dating photos. He does photography for art related and, and, and our car stuff. So I literally sat on my in my backyard on, uh, on top of a picnic table that I have. And you can see terrible clothes, loose blue, uh, blue jeans, uh, a rotted, rough looking fence behind me, which is just terrible for the background here. Allow me to zoom in a little bit more so we can... There we go. Yeah. Yeah. So this right here is just all around terrible. Me holding my fingers is terrible, like body posture, body language, you know, just just ugh, right. And here's one of me at the gym when I, I sort of started working out, but I just began my journey. So, you know, terrible lighting. It was a selfie uh, body posture. I mean, I don't really have that good of muscle. It's just something a little bit there after a little bit of workout. Here's me in front of one of my cars that I used to work on, build, and got sponsored for. People are going to be like, oh, my God, it's a Honda, but whatever. And I just, I'm literally sitting down in front of my car and facing forward in a more baggier shirt, same jeans, uh, you know, in front of my house and stuff. So terrible photo. 
And then here's me down here with two good friends. We went to Autobahn. I won first place. I'm standing on the front with a cheesy, rough looking smile. Photo's a little blurry there, but body language. And it's like, this is just a bad photo. I mean, of course, it's a good photo with my friends that I would, probably, I would put on my Instagram for the memories wise, but using it for dating, absolutely not. Because when it doesn't really highlight, you know, like, okay, which guy is he if they didn't see the other photos? And on top of that, it's just like terrible clothes, body posture language, and then it's just a goofy, you know, I'm with the boys shot as well. So this got me net nothing. And especially when I came to Miami, I couldn't get shit. And I'd tell Alex like, bro, I'm, I'm getting nothing. And it was months before I started getting traction and stuff. And I, I do have my, my current profile too, if we want to see what that looks like. Let's take a look at that. Okay, so after a lot of practice, so we um, have the first photo of me, uh, hopefully that's clear enough, of me, I went to a cooking class with a previous friend because I actually do enjoy cooking myself. And I was told like, hey, if you wanna meet girls who are in interested in things you like, which I do enjoy cooking, is like, you know, go to a cooking class and stuff. So I went with a friend of mine and I uh, had them take a photo of me while I was in the middle of prepping some uh, nuki. We were making uh, nuki steak and something else for that. But anyways, it wound up being my best photo that, you know, a lot of girls, I asked them, you know, like what photos you like best of me and oh, the cooking one. So that's first. And of course the gym selfie I just shared earlier, my transformation. Um, here's a suit shot. I believe Justin took this photo of me or we set a tripod. I think, I think Justin took this photo of me. It's just me in a, a, a standard suit It's probably like all this right here was maybe $60. I got mostly from a uh, Ross, right? So the, 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 the coat and the button down and the pants and it's baggy. It's not tailored, but it's just sitting there. Um, here's another gym selfie, but this time I set my phone up on a tripod and, and did a timer on it. So it's just, I had a good pump. This is after two years of working out consistently and having a good diet. So I got, you know, decent muscles, even though some would say that this is try hard. I'd rather have a friend with me next time, you know, snap a photo of me, which would be a lot better, but still it highlighted that, Hey, this guy takes care of himself and you know, he doesn't look that bad either muscle wise. This one, a friend of mine took a photo of me when I went to an event in Las Vegas. I was like, hey, man, this is a cool chair. I snap a photo of me. And I had gotten a pretty good cut. Uh, I had some pretty decent clothes on. This is me snowboarding. Uh, I had a friend of mine who I went with. And yeah, just snapped a photo of me. And I thought it was like a really dope photo. And then I have a photo <laughs> of me. Yeah. So with this profile, now, mind you, I'm an average Caucasian man. I'm 5'9 on a good day. All right. Um, I can run a boost here in Miami for about 30 minutes and get roughly 40 to 60 matches, especially if I run a one hour long boost during prime time. And that's why this profile should look familiar to quite a few of you followers for that. We've used this profile, I don't know, three times, four times maybe in playing with fire videos now for testing openers and running experiments and stuff. So, yeah, a drastic transformation from let's see here. Yeah. yeah, drastic transformation from going from this, doing it with some friends to, you know, actually taking time, putting effort and in increasing my SMV, upping my fashion a bit. And then also, you know, I'm just having an eye and angle for things. Yeah. Alex, will you do a Tinder review breakdown of Austin Dunham since he breaks all the rules and top? Um, what rules does – yeah, I would, I would totally do a Tinder review. I think I've done one with him in the past. But what rules does he actually break? I'd be curious. Uh, okay. Do we have any other questions? Uh, 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 let's maybe, do you want to show like one or two more, uh, client before and after transformations? Yep. I got that ready to go. Um, okay. Right here. Yep. So here's a client. Uh, he's, um, uh, you know, a student studying. He doesn't have much time to go out constantly gaming at bars and such. And so these are, a photo he was using on his profile beforehand and then after working with me. So take note here, he's calm, collected, cool, relaxed, laid back a bit. Fashion's far better than having some loose fitted jeans and a baggy shirt here and just an awkward pose with an offer, awkward facial expression here. You know, working my magic, he's, you know, got a bit of a smirk there, grinning, you know, in a really nice propped up spot with a good body posture up against the rail. Here's another with him on the bike, different angle, different background. Now. This is when I just got the bike. So I, he's one of my earlier clients when I started incorporating the bike. So the background could have been a lot more feasible. But however, this is a good position of him sitting on the bike, looking off to the right. So a good facial shot right here to the side. Here's another one of the coffee shot, him sitting, just, you know, casually being there. Uh, let's see here. 
Another one of him just resting up on the side of a post here, kind of similar to what he had. Now, again, the photos on the left are what he was using, and the ones on the right were some of the, the best that we got out of the shoot with him during that time. Uh, yep, guitar pick, laying back and stuff. And I stay in contact with the guy. The, he wound up being successful in school, and he also – really got a lot better results from girls that he found attractive he wasn't beforehand he was taking what he can get but now it's like he's picking and choosing the ones that he finds attractive up oh, and him playing with Rhaegar. yeah yeah Rhaegar smiling kills it oh let me also oh keep going yeah keep going yeah. okay so here's another client this is what he was using for his profile set up here um you can just get a great idea for these pretty typical photos from guys who use time you know that we see over and over again and then afterwards of working with me, he wound up uh, getting pretty great results. That's a fucking difference. Yeah, from this to this. Uh, yeah, he, he's doing pretty I love good. that suit photo right there. Me too. Yeah. The thing with the suit, though, is we asked him to get it tailored. But other than that, it's, it's pretty good for the most part. Yeah, form-fitting clothes are pretty important, guys. And there are exceptions to that. But form-fitting, whenever possible, works great. Um, here's a recent client I just worked with. This is what he was using. Um, oh, yeah. as far as before, this is one of the better that, ones. Yeah, as far yeah, as far so, as one, this one is wasn't it's not it's average. Yeah, it's average. Uh, he shot this himself with the wine pouring here, and uh, no, I mean, not too bad, too bad. Uh, however, but after with me, massive overall. Oh, wow. yeah, no. yep. Yep, and he's doing pretty good right now, actually. So yeah, nice. the The one I would want to show is here. I'll, I'll uh, pull up on my end. I'm gonna match photography. Share here. Okay, you can see this. Oh yeah. I want to also show these because I think there's some good ones here. So, this guy left and then right, bam, massive difference. This guy. I mean, he did, I don't know how many photo shoots can get results. Look at this. Yeah, yeah, but, he, he did a bunch of photo shoots for that. This is my favorite one. Oh, yeah, your typical cool. selfie. And now he looks like a, a, a mafia boss, right? Yeah. Looks, yeah. Like a, a, so you come to me and ask me for a favor? <laughs> looking at, yeah, he looks like a celebrity. You're looking at me? Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah just, this, is, this, is the, this is the power of great photos. Like, they can yeah, do so angle, much. Yeah, for uh, sure. Yeah. Um, Okay, let's, uh, I guess, to kind of, uh, guys, if you have any questions, let me know in the chat. We'll answer them while we got Suhail and David on. Uh, so uh, yeah. don't dilly dally. But um, what's it called? Yeah, so I guess let's talk a little bit about how you're, how people can work with you. So if they want to reach out to you or learn more about, like, what you do, where should they go? I mean, obviously, we got a little mattress photography.com, but talk about yeah. what yeah, uh, my website's unlimitedmatchesphotography.com. I'm currently improving more on that website. It's stated, but easily reach out to me, book a consultation. We hop on a free call. I like for my clients, uh, potential clients, to send me photos of your current profile, your current pro current Instagram. You know, I get an idea of what you look like and such. And then I, you know, I will be able to tailor the the call to that and explain the process on that. Also, my Instagram's unlimited matches photography. Um, I just launched my TikTok at uh, David underscore at UMP. Um, so I just started uploading videos and me actually doing the shoots on there. The YouTube channel is going to be the same, Unlimited Match of Photography. I think I put a reel on there right now, but I'm going to start uploading the videos. So you guys can literally see what it's like from A to Z with me doing a shoot with a client. So you can learn yourself and or get an idea of what it's like to work with me. Yeah. Several other benefits. Number one, it includes a stylist uh, consultation. Yep. Number two, uh, you get me uh, going through the final photos, picking the best ones. Three, you get access to Rhaegar. Four, you get access to a uh, motorcycle. Five, you get access to a guitar. Uh, what, what are the other activity ones? I mean, there's a bunch. I, I can't remember them. Yeah, all. so not just necessarily those, but a variety of activity ones, including we can do a beach shot, we can do a harbor shot, you know, um, and also a photography shot. We have multiple full frame cameras here, as you saw in one of the photos with the client. So it's like a legitimate full size camera. So it's not like a baby little snap camera. It's a full size. So it's just, it adds to your overall, like your uniqueness, creativity side, or even your more risk taking side of like, I'm willing to try things. Regardless if you do this or not, you're trying it out. You're, you borrowed it from a friend, you know? So yeah. And also if they get the premium package, they get the PWF product for mm -hmm. free. Yeah, so we launched a premium package in collaboration with PWF. So you get all from package one, except for the exceptions of 
With the premium package, you get two full days of shooting as opposed to one full day of shooting. So you get 12 changes as opposed to one change, uh, out, a set of outfit changes. Secondly, you get the Playing With Fire Ultimate Dating Blueprint 2.0 included with the package, which comes with one month of the Mastermind Playing With Fire Facebook private group, which that I recommend to all my clients because it's one thing, guys, to get really, really solid photos, okay? You're going to get the matches. Now, the purpose of the photos is to get the matches and get the combo going. From there, your texting skills take over from there, all right? So having access to Playing With Fire, their mastermind group, you can literally post in there, like, here's my profile. Here's what the girl's saying, you know, like, what do I say next? And or what do you guys think I should improve on, et cetera. And overall, it'll help you get going quicker, learn faster, make the learning curve much more steeper as opposed to doing this with like, am I doing things right? I keep striking out, right? So that's just a really, really massive added benefit. In addition, you get a custom in, well, in-person tailor from the stylist. She will come along on the shoots and style on the spot and or go with you to the store. Some clients, majority clients fly to me. Some of them opt for having the, the stylist do all the work for them. So she will meet with you at a mall, instruct you all the way there, and dress you up on the spot. So that's also included in the premium package as well. How long do the photo sessions take? Um, how long do they take, David? So typically with my clients, and this is what I like to do because this is important, is I let them know, hey, plan for six hours, okay? Suho was a special case because we were on <laughs> limited time and we had to make it work. But the reason being is, for example, I'll say meet me here at 11 a.m. and plan for if we go 5 p.m., maybe 6 p.m. That's so we can go to all the different locations that I picked out for us, which I have more than a dozen locations and spots, and and we got to you know incorporate activities as well. We need time to get to these locations. We need time to you know talk a bit, um, wash, rinse, repeat on giving feedback, advice. You know when we when I do a shoot with you, I'm gonna like all right, let me review the photos. Let's provide some feedback. I'll let you see the photos so you can see what you look like. And you need time to get dressed, right? We need time to change outfits. And the main thing is I don't want guys to feel pressured, which quite a few, you know, like I've never done a photo shoot before. So there's this pressure, right? Well, I don't want you to feel pressured in the sense of we're rushing and stuff. That's why I'm like six hours plan for that so we can take our time and enjoy the ride along the way, which I have yet to have a customer state. They did not have a good experience or a good time. It was, I, I make it fun and enjoying, right? And usually the photo shoots, we wrap up around the four hour mark, honestly. We don't usually go to that six hour mark. Some cases we do, but then again, you know, we get great results too because we're able to get in a lot more. And also you're in a lot more chill, confident state and or we got a lot more solid photos. Is there something like a list of good day photographers in every country, including you? Unfortunately not. Uh... Access to Reagan, I'm sold out will buy 10. <laughs> Don't find me out. I yeah. thought Alex was free speech. Uh, yeah, just if you say shit like, uh, I think the quote that got you timed out was, uh, he should move back to Pakistan or shit like that. Like, yeah, right. don't be negative. Come on, guys. Like, no, you, can, you, can be, you can be negative, but outright racism, nah, not cool. Yeah, uh, same. Hey, you're lucky I just timed you out. I think most people would just perma ban you for that. Ban, yeah, bro. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, someone's asking how much does he charge? Yeah, so I have a package deal starting at. Um, let me see here. Um, so seven fifty is a standard package deal, but we're running a sale for a hundred dollars off. So right now six fifty for the standard package. For the premium package, it's fourteen hundred dollars, but we are running a sale right now for two hundred dollars off for twelve hundred. Now the premium package again comes with all of the standard package. But with the addition of two full days as opposed to one full day, multiple style, uh, double the amount of styles as opposed to the, the standard styling, uh, in-person styling and getting to work, getting the Plan With Fire Mastermind product bundled with a month free of the Mastermind course as well. Mastermind uh, uh, Plan With Fire page, that is. Yeah. And can I say something regarding like a lot of you might be thinking like, oh, that's a lot of money. But like, let's be honest, that's bullshit. How, how else are like, because like I was like, Oh, a ticket to Miami and then paying for that and then all that other shit. But like, let's be honest with ourselves. How are you spending your there's OK, I know a lot of you might not have a lot of money, which is separate, but all of you do have something and that's time. How are you spending your time and your money? Are you on your ass binge watching, you know, fucking Wednesday or whatever? Are you are you paying using your money to buy Uber Eats and DoorDash? and fucking Starbucks every day when you don't need it and McDonald's and, you know, fucking paying for that Netflix subscription, that Pornhub subscription, when you could be investing in yourself and going to the gym, you know, fucking 
take buying that ticket to Miami, you know, paying for that, uh, you know, this whole and you don't just get photos. Like I said, you get access to the stylist, you get access to Alex. So like, be real with yourself. Like how how else are you using your money and your time? Like, just be be, be honest with yourself. To piggyback onto that as well, I of course I'm not the only dating photographer in this. Many of you have heard of Justin, you know, throughout a variety of videos and other dating photographers. Like my price point is I come from nothing in my background, like low income. So I came here with very little, right? And worked my way up into these different occupations and stuff. And I get it. Not everybody has a lot of money. Some of my clients were, were college students, barely getting by. So I try to maintain a very, very pretty great entry price point into getting, you know results, getting a good photo shoot done, and especially compared to many other photographers out there, I add in additions. Um, an addition that I add in that I don't think any other photographer does and what's commonly done is when I take three to 4,000 photos of you guys and I narrow them down to your top 100 to 200 of your great photos, your good photos, that is, of where you look good and stuff, you know, and excluding the ones where clearly you made a bad facial expression, bad body language, just knock out the bad ones. I do basic editing to those photos of lighting, contrast, color, you know, just make it look good. Um, and then me and Alex narrow those down to your top six photos or so from that point. I give you those 200 or so photos for free. I don't charge extra for that. Yeah, definitely. That charge. I still have all those photos on my phones. Yeah, I still have yeah, all those so on you my can, phone. You, you'll I'm have a lot of them. options. Yeah, yeah, you'll have a lot of options to try different things. You know, it may not work for one person that works for another with a dog, for example, in terms of how you're facing. You know, and also you have options for your Instagram for posting on other social media outlets as well. So I try to go above and beyond and adding value. Definitely. Okay, let's do like two more questions. How much does a person spend on clothes with a stylist? What is the average price of clothes? That's a good question. Yeah, so with that being said, the stylist will go through your wardrobe first. You'll see what options you have. If you don't have the options, she'll have you go to specific clothes outlets such as H&M, Zara, Express, Express we commonly use. Now, if you money isn't really that big of a concern or you have a little bit more of a budget to spend, I mean, she'll talk to you about this and you can let her know like, hey, look, I like Boss Hugo uh, as an example. Right. And we all know Boss Hugo is quite pricey. I've seen some of the shirts over the hundred dollar mark just for a T-shirt. Right. Or if you're really, really, really strapped for cash. Right. And you you know want to make the most out of it with what little you have she can even go to ross with you or have you go to ross and try your luck at what ross has in that day which ross is quite cheap you know there or even try try out goodwill but more so over it just comes down to you what you're interested in and some guys are like hey look i don't have much money um i don't have all the clothes i need you know so i i would really like to make the most of this which is imperative that you do have good fashion and so just let the stylist know and she'll even take you to more return friendly stores so like some guys will return their clothes after doing the photo shoot they they do most guys keep all their clothes that they purchase because like you're upping your wardrobe you're upping your sense of fashion and style which you know that's always changing and evolving as we as the year progresses so yeah yeah and i can help answer that too so like if you want like a an actual ballpark number, I think I spent maybe like 150 total because some of the other stuff, she works with you. Like I showed her my wardrobe and she's like, oh, some of that stuff will actually work. So like it's not like uh, depending on like w what you have, she can actually take what you what you have. And then, like I said, David will like literally take the the clo the shirt off his back and put it like I didn't I, like I had a wrong fitting shirt. He's like, let me see what size you have. And he like let me borrow one. Of, you know what I'm saying? So it's like not that big of a deal. She's not making Ari's not making you buy like Gucci Balenciaga. She's not making you buy insane like things that people in Beverly Hills buy. It's like I went to Zara, H&M and Express and like a lot of the stuff is like very like, you know, practically priced. So like it's really not that big of a deal. Let's, let's end it off on this question. Aren't all girls in the entire of guitar, pool, and motorcycle photos? No, because the vast majority of guys don't have guitar and motorcycle and pool photos. Yeah. They have cringy selfies of them in the car. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so no. They, uh, they, yeah. Also, it's not the same girls that are on Tinder, Bumble, and Hinge either. The, every day there are thousands of girls signing up who have never seen any of these. Secondly, girls have preferences. Do they like white guys? Do they like Indian guys? Do they prefer black guys? Right. So, like, if you have three of the different instances, all three using a good car, she's going to pick the one she finds more attractive. So it's like opening yourself up to more options. And it's just, it's a no brainer. Yeah, for sure. All right, cool, guys. Uh, I think that was a good stream. Uh, UnlimitedMatchPhotography.com if you want to find uh, David. So, yeah. Hail, thanks for coming on. Appreciate you, buddy. Yeah, man. They yeah, had we're... a radar for me. He's right behind you. He's yeah. Right behind me. We're going to be right doing a pretty interesting. So, Jasmine is coming. Uh, 
early next week, we're going to be doing a in-studio uh, debate, most likely, with some other people. I don't want to give it away. Uh, but, yeah, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff there. And then we got a lot of really juicy videos uh, coming up. So you guys are going to enjoy that. All right, guys, appreciate you all. And check out Davey's uh, photography if you have any questions about that or just want to shoot a message or you want to book a photo shoot or whatever the fuck you want to do. I appreciate you all. Have a good night, guys. Take care. Bye.